Groundsy, not the result we wanted out of there today, but your thoughts on that result? No, not at all. Um, we've obviously come off the back of a decent performance on Tuesday night, a um, game that we probably felt we should have won. Um, and came here today and we, we haven't shown up really. Um, we've lost far too many duels within the game, um, not being able to gain any territory at all and conceded a really bad goal. What was Gary's thoughts going in at half time when it was 0-0? Uh, I wasn't in there myself actually. Um, I was out here with Al's injury, um, so I didn't hear too much of it. Um, but I think it was along the lines that we need to play forward a little bit more, gain a little bit more territory um, and sort of play in their half. First time this season the team have gone down to 10 men. I know we don't really want to dwell too much on Rakeem's red card, but how is that for the team when it does get reduced to 10 men? Um, it's always difficult, but you hope that it sort of brings us together. Um, and at 10 men, we probably started doing the wrong things. Um, we probably played too much football in the wrong areas where we should have been turning them. Um, probably something that we were trying to do with 11 men. Um, I don't know whether it was a situation of we've got nothing to lose now, so let's try and play a little bit more. But I think we should have played into the right areas a little bit more. We seem to be struggling with the goals at the minute as well. There's not a shot on target out there today. What do you think is going on there as well? Um, I think the manager spoke about it. We have worked a lot on the other phases of the game. Um, so it is a process. Um, something that we're definitely working on in training about wide players getting in the right positions to, to put crosses across the box for the forwards. Um, obviously the last couple of games have been really disappointed where we haven't created great chances. Um, barring today, I think the previous two games we were moving in the right direction. Hopefully today is just a little blip and we can move on from it. Exactly like you say, it's just a little blip, but again, with the blip, our away supporters are still coming in well, three, over 300 again today. Anything you want to say to the fans? Oh no, we really appreciate the support. Um, they always travel really, really well. Um, and they deserve so much more than what we've given them today. Um, like I say, hopefully it's just a little blip and we can move on to next weekend and give them a good performance at home. Given the recent results, how big is the game at Cambridge uh, at home? It's huge because the last three have been missed opportunities. Um, and you sort of get into the situation where we lose the good position that we have been in for, for not taking advantage of other. Um, we've obviously gone three games now without picking up a victory, only one point from, from nine available. Um, so we need to go into the weekend feeling positive. Hopefully this is just a little blip and we can move on and get a good result, positive result at home. What's the next seven, week, uh, next seven days going to be like for you guys? Is it going to be dwelling on the result or are you just going to try and put it behind you and just look forward to Cambridge? No, I think you have to look over it. You, there's got to be certain bits that we have to do better. We know coming to a place like this, you have to fight, you have to win duels, and then you can sort of play. Um, we didn't do enough of that. Cambridge is going to be very, very similar. Um, we've done that previously pretty well in the last two games, Burton and, and Shrewsbury. Um, and those two games aren't an excuse. We need consistency. Um, so we need to move on, have a look at it, analyse it, and then deal with things in training where we deal with that and put our game forward rather than playing somebody else's game. Brilliant. Cheers, Brownsley. Cheers, mate. Thank you.